Hello YouTube friends, Anna and I are up in the shipping room at the moment and the shop is closed and that's because we're busy restocking, repacking uh, a reprint of various things and uh, just getting everything ship shape. We're also taking a bit of a break from making videos and posting videos every Sunday and so what I'd like to invite you to do is watch a video from way back that you might have already seen but I wanted to address some of the questions I get asked really frequently. Um, people ask me over and over again about how I made my curtains that are downstairs uh, in, the, uh, work, in my workroom, the postage stamp curtains. Now I made a video about that block, um, which I'm going to invite you to watch now. But I'd like to just say beforehand that it's part of the Liberty series I was doing then. And also I'm making a little lavender bag that was then for sale in my shop and obviously that was a couple of years ago and that they aren't there anymore of course and I won't be making those again uh, but the block construction uh, I go into the great detail about how you get that random scrappiness to make the block uh, look like the curtains uh, I think people sometimes think that I'm sewing tiny little squares together and it, nothing could be further from the truth. It's like a big strip piecing, cutting and re-sewing and all of that. So um, while Anna and I have this bit of downtime, I'm going to invite you to watch uh, that video. And next week, I'm going to find another video that you might enjoy and talk to you about that one as well. So for now then, I hope you're having a wonderful summer or a wonderful winter if you're in the Southern Hemisphere and enjoying the, the weather, whatever it's doing. Uh, I'm, um, we're both Anna and I are really busy uh, and enjoying it very much, but it's great to have a little bit of downtime and that's what we're doing now. So uh, enjoy this that's coming along now and at the end of it, I'll leave a playlist which will have all the other Liberty projects that I was doing at around about that time. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy this and I'll see you next week. Hello YouTube friends. Today's uh, instalment in the Liberty series is going to be all about the postage stamp block which is what these curtains are made from. Now, you've seen these curtains in, behind me in videos for a long time now, and many people have said, oh, tell us about the curtains. What, how did you make the curtains? So today's the day. We're actually going to talk about it today, why I made them and what they're made from. So no. I sometimes teach um, people how to make simple patchwork. I like to explain how you take uh, quite simple shapes, do some clever cutting and stitching together like with the round the world quilt block that I showed you uh, a few weeks ago. And then you can make something that looks really really impressive that's actually terribly simply constructed. So a few years ago, this is my teaching book, one of them, a few years ago I wanted to, let's get this the right way up, I wanted to teach a block called the postage stamp block. Um, it's this block here, and you can see, can't you? It's the same thing. <laughs> uh, so it's this block, which is, um, how big are they? These are inch and a half squares when they're finished here, uh, but they're all put together in a very scrappy way. Unlike the round the world, the trip around the world block, which is very precise and very organised how you stitch all of that together to make a pattern. This one, you want it to be as random as possible. Here's another one in my book here that is uh, all yellows and blacks here. So I made a couple of samples before I taught this class so that people could see how to construct this block for themselves. And I'm, it was this was as big as it was. And I thought, wouldn't it be nice if they had a bigger piece to see so that you could see how this a very scrappy random arrangement of tiny squares would look in a big block. So I made a piece about about that big and I 
wanted to have a look at it. So I hung it up in the window here. I just pegged it up on the window pole uh, so that I could step back and see what it looked like. And I lived with it for a few days hanging up there. And every time I walked past it, I thought, that looks really nice. That would be good as curtains. Well, once I'd had that thought, that was it. My fate was sealed. And so the idea of making curtains for this very long conservatory, it's a huge window here, uh, that idea was born. And so there followed many, many days and weeks of cutting the block that I'm going to show you now, the postage stamp block, and piecing them all together. Now there are, uh, I counted them all, there are a lot of squares in there. I'll show you, I'll put a picture in here of uh, the, the whole run of them. I've got a picture of the whole run of them uh, with all the curtains closed. So you can see what that looks like. So, so because we're doing this series about Liberty Fabric, I thought I'd make a postage stamp block using Liberty Fabric and then make it into something. Watch and I'll show you what I decided to make. OK, let's get started. So I started off by cutting two inch strips, width of fabric and two inches uh, wide. Uh, lots and lots of different uh, patterns of Liberty. Well, the ones I chose this time were all reds and pinks. So here they all are, mixed them all up. And the next thing we're going to do is cut them nine inches long. So I took all these strips, this is a bit speeded up, and I laid them on top of one another about five or six um, deep. I'm just cutting the cell edge off there. And then what I'm going to do is they're two inches wide and I'm going to cut them at nine inches. That will make sure that I've got plenty to uh, uh, play with, with seams and so on. So yeah, I went ahead and cut all of those. Now in order to make the block be really random and scrappy so that there's not very many repeats in there, you have to start with quite a lot of two inch strips. So I've just cut some two inch strips out of some of this Liberty. And I've cut probably about, I don't know, 12 different designs here. And these are two inches wide by about nine inches uh, long. That's, uh, so what we're going to do with these now is just very randomly stitch them together uh, two by two and then four by four. And that will be big enough for the project we're doing. So we'll do that now. I've got my quarter inch foot on my sewing machine. I've got the big pile of uh, the two by nines here. And I'm just going to... Um, stitch them together in twos now so um let's uh, let's do that funky music possibly So now that I've sewn them all together in twos, I'm going to sew, sew them together in fours now. Just the same. So now the four strips are stitched together, pressed, and now I'm going to trim them. I could trim them two at a time, but I like to do them one at a time so that I can see that I'm getting them nice and square. So the first thing I do is trim one end up like that and then these are going to be in two inch strips just the same as this strip was these are going to be two inches this way okay so I'll line that up there and I'm going to use the mat and the ruler to check that my two inches just keep it nice and straight here along these lines and there we go so what I'm going to end up with is a lot of different four inch, uh, uh, two inch strips with four blocks on them and I'm going to mix them all up together. Mm -hmm. 
these little pieces here these will end up in my box of Liberty scraps and every single bit of this will get used when I make the postcards or like the other day when I made that frustrating little <laughs> Liberty box that I, I collaged or decoupaged or whatever the word is. Okay, four more. Okay, so what we have now then is all these random little strips of uh, fabric sewn together. Uh, they are all very, very different. There's a big uh, pile of them here. And what my job now is, I've, uh, I'm going to take two of them, making sure that they're quite different. So let's look at those two. Okay, so I'm going to look along. I mean, of course, they're Liberty, so they'll look beautifully similar. But I'm going to look along here and make sure that I've got no repeats on that row there and stitch those two together. Now, actually, I'll turn that one this minute. Glasses on. Because I pressed everything going in one direction, I'll spare you the picture of the boy band for this one. I'm going to make that row go upwards and this row go downwards and just check that they are still different. There's no matches there, very random. And then I can nest those seams together. So I'm going to nest those two together like that. I like nesting seams. They're just so much uh, easier to work with. No bulk around the seam. This lavender smells so lovely. I'm doing it over the bag in case any drops in, but it isn't. It's all going in there, all 30 grams. So there then, I'll sew along the top of here now. And this is my postage stamp block, but made into something completely different. I'm going to put these for sale in the shop. So I've had a lovely afternoon sewing these together. They smell completely divine. They really do. The idea was to show you how I made the postage stamp block for the curtains, but in doing so I've made these little lavender bags for the shop. That's the postage stamp block, just like my curtains. Oh, they smell so, so nice. Absolutely lovely. And I've got this much lavender left. So I might make a few more. Not many, just a few. Thanks for watching. I'll catch up with you next time. So I hope you enjoyed that. I've just re-watched it as, uh, at the same time as you have just done that. And wasn't the music funky? I was choosing some great tunes back then. <laughs> so while we're away, Anna and I, just to remind you that there's always content over on Patreon, uh, a video every Friday, and the alongs are still continuing, and the Q&A. Uh, those things are all still going on over there on Patreon. So the description below this video will have a link to that and also a link to Instagram, which is where um, Anna and I post pictures of all the things we do here at the Last Homely House. 
Uh, so if Anna's just over there packing cards, is there anything else we need to add in, Anna? <laughs> I think that was an excellent description. Oh, Anna says that was an excellent description. <laughs> so, uh, as my editor, I'm going to accept that as, uh, yeah, Anna, I'll take that. <laughs> so, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, subscribe and do all those things, leave a comment, all of that, and we'll be back next week. Uh, look forward to seeing you then. <laughs>